This is a message to us, and it's a message to our leaders. And if anybody knows how to get the shir to our leaders, they should do so. Ulam vav shel shalom hi vav ketia al pirov ashitot vav shvura. It means a broken vav. She can brit pinchas hu shalom ha chozer lishlei muto. Pinchas disrupted peace, didn't he? He he killed somebody, and he caused a whole a whole disruption. And now, but that's not the end of your job. By killing Zimri, you haven't finished your job. Now you've got to bring peace back to the community. That's what you've got to do. When Pinchas has to act, when you've got to go into Gaza and kill people, the word shalom, which is Hashem's stamp, is broken, it's damaged. It's not an ideal, that's not what we want. And Pinchas' real job after he's done away with Zimri is to bring peace back again. And we're so obsessed at the moment with winning the war, and so our soldiers have to be obsessed with that. But our leaders shouldn't be obsessed with that. They should already be thinking, and what do we do after the war? How do we make sure that we bring shalom back to the state, to the people of Israel, to the world? How do we make sure that this is actually a step towards shalom and not a ktia, that we're not just damaging the vav? Pinchas' role is to battle that shalom should become shalem. And that's where we get the halacha from about a psulb. Why? Because, says the Hirsch, Harotzeh lavi lidei kach cha shalom shinikta yarzol letikuno. If you want to bring damaged peace back to shleimut, vehenzu amashmut asmila shikol avodah, hino atzmo chayav liyot shalem. Only a person who is shalem can do that. You can't be a damaged person. If your character is damaged, if you've lost the trust of the people, if the people don't believe you anymore, get out of the way and bring somebody who has personal shlemut, somebody who has character. Because only leaders of character will be able to take the nation back after all of this to a much higher place than it was before. If we don't change the leaders, we won't change the country. Because we've got to be able to find surely somewhere their leaders who have character. It's not to say anything negative about the people who've led us this far. They've done wonderful things and great jobs and all, everything great. But we need a different kind of leadership. We need the, this vav ketua, we need to bring shalom to shalom. After shalom has been damaged, the vov has been broken. Now you want to bring it back to shalom. For that you need a person who's shalom. And that's the message of a kohen who's a balmum can't serve in the Beis Hamikdash. Because there's got to be shlemut, there's got to be external perfection and internal perfection. You've got to look the part and you've got to be the part. The Netziv says something a little different and equally important. Sometimes you've got to diminish the peace a little bit. Sometimes there's too much peace. Don't forget the people, many of the people who, who never were slaughtered and massacred last week were people who were dedicated to peace. They wanted peace. They wanted peace with Gaza. They wanted peace with Gazans and all of Israel. They were the people who stood on the front line of peace. Says the Nativ. sometimes you've got to reduce the peace a little bit. Sometimes there's too much peace. Because Pinchas, who lived a very long time, didn't get as angry with the idol of Micha as he did get with Pinchas. He lost his edge. This edge of Kanaut, because he was the man, the man of peace. After the thing with Zimri, he was given the Brit Shalom. Says the, the Nitziv, Brit Shalom, yes. But there are times when you were to diminish the Shalom. Sometimes peace attacks you. Sometimes peace destroys you. And you've got to know when to diminish peace a little bit in order to restore the Shlemut. So if we put Hirsch and, and the Nitziv together, what a beautiful message we've got. Yes, sometimes you do have to diminish the Shalom. You can't hang into Shalom and hang on to peace. And that's part of the, the diplomatic issues that we're going to be facing the next few weeks. At what point you say, no, peace, we've got to make peace. We've got to, everything's got to be sorted out. And that's going to be the international pressure. And two leaders are going to have to make that judgment. When, when is it Ketia? When do you have to reduce Shalom? in order to get to the Shlemut? And when do you have to pursue Shalom? And most important of all, Rabshim Shrefal's Hirsch is a Baal Mum, can't be the person to do this. 
the person to take a situation with, where peace has been shattered, the person who can take the shrapnel of the peace that has been shattered and reform it into something that is shalem, something that is whole, something that is perfect, something that is valuable, that has to be a person himself who is not a balmum, who has no character flaws, a person who himself represents that which is, that which is shalem.